flat sun has blessed us once more. So I woke up today and I was thinking, even though my hip is like out of place, it's pinching on a nerve, I'm in excruciating pain here. In general, I'm just so grateful, so lucky. Like my life is good. Things weren't always rosy unicorn eggs. And like fluffy bunny, pink bunnies running around, dancing around me, licking me. It wasn't always like that. What really changed was up in here. Up in here. That's what really changed, and I'm gonna share it with you today. He's walking somewhere. I'm at a glorious temple. There's happy people in there, spreading good karma to the universe. They're meditating and sending out love everywhere. It's so nice. I'm sure you could convince yourself right now if you had to that your life is just terrible. You could focus on everything that you hate about your life, and I used to do this constantly until I watched The Secret. My friend just sent me that movie, really changed my life, but I was focusing on all the negatives. I had ulcerative colitis. I was broke, just depressed, no girlfriend, just unhappy. And I would think of that always. It's so easy to think of that because if you're sick, you feel the pain. It's like, oh yeah, I got a stomach disease. It's here. And then you just keep thinking that, oh, I can't eat anything. Is there a dog? Where's the doggy? What's he saying? He misses his friend that he met when he was a puppy. They used to play in the backyard. He'd bury a bone, then his friend would try to find it. He misses that. So if you want to remain in your trap, just keep on thinking of it. Just look in your life right now, what sucks? And just keep on focusing on it to make it grow. You're watering your, your crappy life with fertilizer. Why do you put fertilizer on your crappy life? <laughs> so I'm gonna give you a technique that I've been doing for years and I just, I can't believe when I look back at my life, how different it is. Five minutes every day, set a little alarm. You can download an app. There's a lot of noise happening right now. There's a random act of kindness for you. These people put this out for the homeless that come collect recycling. Look at that, it makes it easy for them. They just come back, collect the bag and move on. So for five minutes straight every day, I lay down in my bed and I just start thinking of everything I'm grateful for right now and just naming them off, like my current health. It may not be perfect, but it's better than it's ever been. My skin's clear. I have super strength now. Super strength. Monkey strength. I wish somebody would write a book about that. Monkey. Is there? Oh, look at that. I don't care what your situation is right now. You have tons to be grateful for. I was on the bus to see my girlfriend yesterday and this couple came on, they were in wheelchairs, both of them. One guy had a huge wheelchair with like super wheels that were doing all kinds of weird turns and he got stuck. And like he was laughing about it though and his girlfriend was like, you can't turn, you can't turn, you're stuck. And she was kind of making fun of him for it. And then like they were having fun in their situation. And I wish I filmed this, I wanted to, but I didn't want to be nosy. And he backed up eventually, and then they were just holding hands together. It was just so nice. Just two people, both in wheelchairs, and they're holding hands. The love was real. It melted my heart. It melted that guy right in there. So you might think in that situation, two people in wheelchairs, they're handicapped. Oh man, that must suck. But they made it work. They had each other. And they were happy. They were laughing the whole time. It's like, oh yeah, I'm stuck here. Ah. <laughs> Like they made, they made joy out of the situation. So for five minutes every day, just start thinking of all the things you have to be grateful for. And the universe gives you more of that. Just think if you were giving somebody a gift, and it's like, here you go, and they took it and they're like, ah, oh, what's that? I don't need that, it sucks. I could get a better one, I don't want it. Would you want to give that person a gift again? You would not. You would not, but if they were so super grateful, they're just like, oh my God, thank you. I needed that. You just, you want to give. We're rushing to cross the street. Oh, everything's blown up. So stop focusing on all the negative things in your life because that's just gonna get you more of them. You're sending the universe that signal. It's like, yeah, I love this negative stuff. 
Oh, the cramps. I love cramps. Send me more cramps. All varieties. What are they doing? Oh, we filmed the restaurant. So think of what you want. And it's hard with the health stuff. That's where I struggle. I've been able to create like financial freedom, bunch of stuff. Like it was easy to focus on. I could see it. It's like, oh, okay, money is increasing here. Yeah. Just and my belief started increasing. But the health is kind of hard when you feel pain and you're like, oh, it's hard to ignore that, but you can do it for five minutes every day. I focus on it. The perfect me, perfectly healthy, no cramps, flat stomach, happy, strong, adventurous. No? Copyright strikes. We're stopping off for lunch at Eggs Mart. Never been here, but they have eggs. And I'm grateful to be able to tolerate eggs. It's fantastic. You're still here? Just trying to read the menu, if you don't mind. So we had a little lunch, I'm very grateful for it. I didn't realize it came with all those hash browns, so those were donated to an orphanage. My girlfriend ate them. Here's Apocalypse Now. It's an organic vegan bar. This is where vegans come to gather gluten together. Gather gluten in their colons and rub their bellies together. That's how they do it. So my friend, the first thing, if you're feeling down, just start thinking of all the good things in your life. You have so many right now, admit it. Admit it, you're hiding them. If you focus on it, they will multiply like gremlins in that movie, but in a good way. In a good way. The negative stuff does stick out, I will admit it. When I read the comments daily, it's 95% love. Just love, thanks VP, you cheered me up. My favorite comment to get is, I was sad, I was depressed, and then I watched your video, I snapped me out of it. You cheered me up, thank you VP. I love those. But then like, just the one little negative comment, that'll stick out, and that's the one I reply to. It's very easy to pay attention to the negative, but then you get more of it. You don't want that in your life. So start small, I know your life could suck. You have a dog that hates you. Your mom beats you up every morning. Okay, that, this is getting dark. <laughs> You're bloated every day, you smell like cheese. You have no job. You got fired from your job as a catwalker. <laughs> and then what are you gonna do now? That was your, that was your goal. <laughs> There's an interesting lawn to be grateful for. That's, uh, wow, look at that. Look at that stuff. So start small with things to be grateful for. Sure, you're no longer a catwalker, but you have something to look forward to. Maybe your dinner. Maybe it's just, thank you, I get to eat delicious food tonight. Thank you that I don't have to go to a job that I hate. Those cats are mean. Those cats are mean sometimes. You could be, thanks for the fresh air. Right now, compared to Thailand, this is fresh. This is fresh, it's no Guelph air. Apparently I'm not welcome in Guelph, so yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> See this cat? He misses you. That's what it is. It's not a missing cat, he just misses you. He misses being walked every day. <laughs> so, get back on the horse, buddy. Just think of the positive, think of this little guy. Think of that little guy right there. That's what you gotta focus on right now. Have you seen Munchie? Cause he's waiting, he's waiting for you. <laughs> Here's the sequel to White Men Can't Jump. Oh, they can shoot though. They can shoot. All right, dunk. Okay, dunk on him. Can white men jump? Let's find out. Oh, no, oh, oh, that was embarrassing. Oh, oh, what the heck was that? All right, the movie was right. Oh my gosh. That was... <laughs> I got that on tape. <laughs> <laughs> Come back, Spider-Man. So start thinking of things you could be grateful for. Often I'm not grateful about this city because it's so expensive and busy. It's like too busy. 
but sometimes it's nice. It's nice to have people running around. According to the laws of the universe, if I want a better city than Toronto, I have to first be grateful for Toronto. And then the universe will give me a better city. So you have to be happy for what you have now. And then you'll get more of it, I think. In like mystical hippie ways, magical shit. It's fantastic. Mm. Spider-Man is back. Spider-Man is back. He's helping the world for tips. He does ask for tips, but still very much helping the world. He squats on a bucket. That's all he can do now. He's jumped so many buildings. He has arthritis. Really is affecting his life. So give him tips. Think Spider Man is moping around? Sad about his arthritis? He's not. He's grateful for what he has now. And that's just gonna bring him more joy, the likes of which you've never seen in your life. There's bunners. It's vegan and gluten free. There's no joy allowed in there. Most of their bread is made of sawdust and oregano. I'm tired. The eggs and steak are filling up my blood. It's fatty blood now. I got fatty blood. Help. Help me. That used to be our place though, King's Cafe. It's a vegan place. I used to get the mock duck. It had no duck in it, but it tasted like it. It was gluten. It's all gluten meat. I miss it. Here's a Nikon camera. Nikon, what is it? Nikon. Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> That's an old one, what is it? It's an icon at three. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Messed up there. <laughs> the people say that this world of soul is all that they gonna talk in the loud truck. I'm grateful for him. For me to just calm down. Patience is the lesson. Hello. <laughs> yeah. Really? What channel? <laughs> yeah, vegetable police. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How are you doing? Good. You're a real police. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. He's on welcome the show. To our city. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm welcome back. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you watched me in Thailand? Yes, yes, yeah, I <laughs> checked you in all your uh, uh, diets that went oh, through. Yes. I was doing the same thing at oh, the same yeah. time. Oh. Yeah, you were going to a couple of faces. Yeah. <laughs> very entertaining, very entertaining. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah you look good. Thank you. Nice yeah. and fit. Yeah. Good, huh? yeah, the hair is yeah, nice you know, and thick. <laughs> Links down below for the real fan, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for all, all the work right. you do. Okay, man. Have okay. a good one. Take, Take care. care. <laughs> Look at that. That is hilarious. A policeman recognized the vegetable police. That just feels good. So I think we're done. We're done here. Post your video ideas down below as I helplessly try to make my way through 30 days of no diet talk videos. We're going for it. We're going for it. So reach in. To your heart try to find something to be grateful for and your shitty life will turn around i think it could i believe in you so we're done thank you so much for watching the video today so they're thumbing it up if you liked it thumbs down if you're grateful for bitter flavors you lose it what a loser. You like plants? Why do you eat them? It's weird, all the fruit markets that were on Spadina closed down. There were a bunch of them and they're all gone. What the hell happened? Veganism has left the building. So we're done. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe for more videos and I'll see you in the next one.